Did you go look at that? And he was. Were you looking at his car? Yeah. yeah. You want to go, go check see it? it out? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do a quick loop. I'll meet you guys right back here. Until then. I almost sold that bike, dude. Thousand bucks. Yeah. You wanna do a video on your car? Sure, why not? Tell us about it. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Okay. okay. A little 65 next to it. Uh, oh, 64. Oh, 66. So, is that one yours there? The teal blue? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was a car that uh, you saw that my dad tried to get your hubcaps away from, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I think you, what, you were living on Las Gatas Elmenden Road? And I think you came by and he tried to give you an Excel distributor for your. <laughs> your your hubcaps. Okay, tell us about your car, Dan. So this car was purchased in off of uh, what Saratoga Sunnyvale Road, the Mopar Chrysler dealer. Okay. There, and it was sitting on the showroom floor and was purchased in April. By who? Uh, my mom and dad. Okay. Family and, car. Yeah. First brand new car my mom got, and the first car I drove when I got my permit and I drove it over Bear Creek Road. It's a 273 two-barrel power disc brakes, Kelsey Hayes, vinyl roof car, and that in power steering. Has an eight and three quarter in it now, front and rear sway bars, and, and it this has a, A 318 stroked in it to a 390. Oh, okay. With shorty oh. hitters from Sanderson with two and a half inch exhaust out the back. No. The radiator was down out of uh, Hayward. And it has the. I don't have the wrinkle black valve covers, but I'd love to have those. Yeah. How did, um, how did these headers? Fit. Any issues with putting them on? Uh, they built them custom to the car. Oh, so okay. that's why the driver's side is so tight. Look at that dump. It goes oh, straight yeah. down. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. And uh, pretty much could be a driver every day if you wanted to get into it. Mm -hmm. So the car, I wrecked it in the back when I was a kid, and then on the passenger side uh, the lower quarter panel got damaged and I've gotten that repaired now I put a wood grain steering wheel on it it had the standard two straight on it and I rebuilt the bucket seats uh, you can see the driver's side has a little more uh, flare to it than the flat on the passenger side mm -hmm. At one point in time, my dad and I had five of them. <laughs> so. Wow. So this is the original color? I don't know if you said yeah, that. Yeah, right. the engine bay is what the original color is. This is a respray. So when you took the vinyl off, you just packed, had that matched up here, the, the paint? Yeah. At just, one point? Yeah, you just had it painted. Okay. So the car, the car was down for over 25 years, and I got it up and running, and... And have been, you know, slowly going through and redoing things. It's got a vicious exhaust leak that goes oh. into the car. Uh, where's that coming in through, the, like the firewall or something? No, the trunk. Oh, so okay. I have to tape up the trunk. I see. So, interesting. Yeah. So you need a uh, yeah, the back a seal panel. and all that. Yeah, the back panel here has to be redone. Okay. But, um, so we've got bunches of parts for 66 Barracudas. I could probably put another part together, so. Piece another car together, right? Probably. And that's the car, so. I like seeing one that's been in the family for a long time, you know, that's super cool. Oh yeah. You fire it up for me? Sure.
Super mellow. Oh yeah. Stroked. Interesting. Yeah. 390 at about 2,000 RPM. It has 370 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, destroys the little tires on the back at 10 e miles an hour. Easy, you huh? would it. Oh yeah, they just spin. All right. So uh -huh. um, the alternator was rebuilt out of Livermore. Um, power steering pump was rebuilt by my friend uh, Robert. Power brake exchange rebuilt the power brake unit, which is a late 50s GM uh, power brake unit that uh, Chrysler used on the early A bodies. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't the know first that. generation or mm -hmm. the narrow body cars. Right, sure. So that's what it would look like, and it would have a single master cylinder on it. Right. And power brake out of San Jose. That was the only, this is the second one that they ever put a dual master cylinder on. Okay. So it's got stainless steel brake lines on it, fuel line, uh, replacement tank. The car fired up with the rebuilt 273 in it and ran just fine until uh, I got a deal I couldn't refuse on a 390. One day the color of the engine bay will be all the way around the car with sure, a black right? vinyl roof. Work in progress. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for showing the car. Yeah. Not a problem, Todd. Thanks for asking to see it. I like it seeing does, a it family does, car. Yeah. That's good. It does mean a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you can never sell it. 